interpreting the gospel and to testify to Christ's sovereignty as Lord of Lords and King of Kings. You are called to guard the faith, unity, and discipline of the church, to celebrate and to provide for the administration of the sacraments of the new covenant, to ordain elders and deacons and to join in the ordaining of bishops and affirming of your apostles, to be in all things a faithful pastor of pastors and a wholesome example for the entire flock of Christ. With your fellowship bishops, you will share in the leadership of the church throughout the world. Your heritage is the faith of patriarchs, prophets, apostles, martyrs, and those of every generation who have looked to God and hope. Your joy will be to follow him who came not to be served, but to serve, and to give his life a ransom for many. As first among equals, you have been chosen and affirmed in your primal ministry. Your apostolic brethren and border bishops have ratified and affirmed their trust in you by acclaiming your appointment and election. This college of prelates has assembled today to lend their voices of consent. Apostle, will you accept this call and fulfill this trust in obedience to Christ? I will obey Christ and will serve in his name. Will you be faithful in prayer and in study of holy scriptures that you may have the mind of Christ? I will, for he is my help. Will you boldly proclaim and interpret the gospel of Christ? enlightening the mind and stirring up the consciences of your people. I will in the power of the Holy Ghost. As the chief priest and pastor, will you encourage and support all baptized people in their gifts and ministries. Nourish them from the riches of God's grace. Pray for them without ceasing and celebrate with them the sacraments, sacraments of our redemption. I will, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, the shepherd and bishop of our soul, will you guard the faith, unity, and discipline of the church? I will. Will you share with your fellow apostles and bishops in the government and upholding of the constitution of this great church? Will you sustain your fellow presbyters and take counsel with them? Will you guide and strengthen the deacon and all others who minister in the church? I will by the grace given unto me. Will you do the work of missions, be merciful to all, show compassion to the poor and strangers, and defend those who have no help? I will for the sake of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. At this time, Chief Apostle Huey Rogers, will anoint and pray for apostles. Shall we pray, Almighty God and Sovereign Lord, Creator of the universe, you are the ascended Lord who gave some to be apostles, prophets, evangelists, pastors, and teachers. Thy servant Willie Rupert called and sent by the power of the Holy Spirit. Dear Lord, you call the twelve disciples that then made them apostles. We were informed and aware of the fact that 70 also went where you would go. You we were aware call of Apostle Paul from the reading of the Holy Scripture. We have learned that Barnabas, James, the pastors of the church in Jerusalem were also called to be apostles and so we lay hands on this man of prayer and power who has been faithful to those who preceded him in this office. It is by the laying on of hands that I pray that you would anoint him as we anoint him with oil. Kind sir, would you give to Apostle Willie Rooker the wisdom to lead and the humility to heed the sound of your voice. Bless him, dear Lord, in the administrative duties the specific responsibility 
that are called for in this love to all the presiding bishop and chief apostle. Give to him the patience of Job, the wisdom of Solomon, the compassion of Barnabas. Bless, I pray, his family as they stand with him in this office. Touch his natural body and give him physical strength. Keep his mind clear and determined. And now I pray this prayer for his ascension into this sacred office. We ask all these blessings in the saving, magnificent, redeeming name of Jesus our Lord. And amen. Because the anointing is transferable. Jesus to Christ said, the Spirit of the Lord God is upon me. But he has anointed me to anoint is to smear. And the yoke shall be destroyed because of the anointing. And so I lay my hands upon you and in the tradition of kings and potentates, we pour the oil and it was like Samuel pouring it on David. And so God has anointed you. And so we anoint your head for wisdom. Your ears for hearing. Your tongue for talking. Your right hand for administration. And your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel. And when you do rise, you will rise in the anointing. For the anointing is on me. Take it. Take it. Receive it. For the crown of your head, the shovels of your feet.
without a spot of wrinkle. My brothers and my sisters, please stand on your feet and receive His grace, the most reverend Willie Earl Brooklyn, chief apostle and presiding bishop of the International Bible League Church Worldwide. Because, Lord, we know that there will be times of trials. There will be times, oh God, of bewilderment. There will be questions, oh God, that they need you and you alone to answer. And so we ask you tonight, oh God, 
that as we lift up our eyes unto the hills, from whence cometh our help, knowing that our help comes from you and you alone. Strengthen them in their weak places, O oh God. Go before them, O oh God, and open up the ways. Lord, we ask you, O oh God, to hold their hands as they walk this journey, O oh God. Because we know that there will be times when no one can help them but you. You alone will have the answers that they need, O oh God. And you alone, O oh God, is able to raise up the bow down heads. Oh God, and you can give ease to the troubled minds. And so we ask you, oh God, to intercede for each one of them. We pray, oh God, for strength in times of weakness. We pray for light, oh God, in times of darkness. And as they hold the hands of their husbands, the same anointing, oh God, that's on them, some of the oil has run down to them. And so, oh God, we pray for each one. We pray, oh God, we lift them up to your presence. We lift them up to you, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. And we thank you in Jesus' name. We pray. Yes, God. Amen. 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 God. We ask you, God, a special Amen. anointing. A double portion of yes. your anointing on Lady Rooker, yes. God. As she continues in the things that you started in her. Oh, God, we pray tonight. You give her the strength. Give her the wisdom. Give her, oh, God, those things that she doesn't even realize she, she needs, God. To continue in what you have put in her. Oh, mighty God, tonight, tonight. We ask that a fresh anointing, fresh, oh God, fresh from you, oh God, oh God, rest upon each one, God, name by name, position by position, because you and you alone can do what these ladies will need, God. We trust in you, God. They already know, oh God, you as their savior, you as their leader, you as, oh God, their comforter. But we just ask tonight a double portion. God, a double portion. Oh, a double portion, God. We need your strength, God. But these are times we've never seen before, God. They're going to endure things they've never endured before. A double anointing. And we trust that you will do it. We know you will do it. Because you've done it for us. We ask these things in your mighty name, Jesus. Amen. 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 At this time, give me a great honor to receive as we enthrone the presidium of International Bible Way in Jesus' name.
Lift your hand and say yes. I'll say yes. Come on, tell them yes. Give them a wave off of all the house.